Hey, good morning, happy Thursday. Welcome back to the Den of Iniquity that is Ken Shaving and BSing, home of your original Big Shave Best champion. And this morning, we're taking a break from the Marvel because it's September, and if you are on Facebook and you see the uh, the surf group, the Single Edge Razor Fans group, uh, they're doing a whole month of Single Edge uh, razor shaves, and I've been wanting to get this or try this, so I, I bought one in my last Razor Rock order. I got the V2 Hawk in the electric blue. I, I originally bought the V1 Hawk when it came out, and partly due to my lack of experience and technique and the way it cut me up in general, I didn't like the V1. I sent it to Chris Maiden, who uh, later piffed it elsewhere, so I don't know who has the Hawk now, <laughs> but I got the V2. I believe it's $24.95 from Razor Rock. Uh, don't quote me on that, but uh, but uh, they, they, of course, they obviously they changed the uh, geometry of the head and little test shaves I've done with it, like sideburn alignments and stuff. It seems a lot easier for me <laughs> to operate. Of course, you know, I'm a big fan of the uh, Colonial Razor's Brass General. And we have a, you know, the curvature front end versus kind of the angled off type of the V1. So I'm looking forward to this. A uh, blade I've never used before, but I've had it lingering since I bought a, these, these uh, artisan style uh, single edge sampler from triablade.com. This is the Kai Captain Sharp Blade. So fresh blade, never used. I'm uh, going to use the Razor Rock BC Silver Tip Synthetic, 24 millimeter, since it's at the ready. And we got our Thayer's, we got our Phoenix Shaving Allen Block. And we're going to use another Barrister and Man Soap this morning, and it's going to be Seville in the regular the Glissant current formula. Citrus, herbs, and oak moss. You get a great smell of each, you get the powdery dry down the oak moss, the herbs offset the citrus, but it's a great citrus barbershop style scent. Nothing too overpowering, the powdery brings it down to the barbershop realm, but you do get that nice citrus. The aftershave, the alcohol enhances the citrus off the top, that dries down nicely. But before we get into the shave, I want to take a moment because I did have a mail call. The Sterling EDTs. And here is executive man in the full size. You know, I'm an Aventus head, so I got this. And honestly, it smells really good. Uh, I'd say these two are really close in scent. This is, of course, fine platinum. I'd say you get a little more woodiness out of this compared to this one. But in all honesty, I think you get a little more hang time with uh, with the, uh, uh, the uh, executive man. So if you're if you like executive man, I think the EDT is worth a try. I believe twenty four ninety five as well. Since we're talking prices, uh, SterlingSoap.com, and I picked up the samples. They have uh, Pharaoh's creamsicle, but these are sold out. They are two fifty normally five bucks for the five millimeter, but. Uh, there was a filtering issue with the vanilla and Campbell particulate, so they marked them down. And um, so this is 250, and this smells really nice. The musk actually does come through the Egyptian musk that they pair with the uh, orange, and the, so it gives it a creaminess. A really nice scent, I'd say. Um, spring summer. Tried Island Man, which was interesting. It's got some rums, got some other stuff to remind me kind of Caribbean. Um, first time I've ever smelled this, so it was intriguing, and I'll get more used to it. I do like it. I just have to <laughs> get used to it. Uh, Mountain Man, which is a take on Creed Silver Mountain Water. Um, it actually had, these all had really good hang time on my sample sprays, so I think you're going to get a good deal out of these. Uh, I wasn't sure. I never smelled Silver Mountain Water, so it's really nice. I'll have to go smell the original to see how it compares to their take on it, but this one, I could see office, fall, all, this could be an all-purpose scent. Uh, you could wear it probably in, in uh, warmer evenings uh, as well, because so, it's got a sharper top that doesn't dry down into like a gourmandy sweet kind of thing. 
and the really nice surprise was their sharp dressed man which is of course based on Creed's green Irish tweed right off the the initial spray and into the dry down very good compared to uh, the real uh, green Irish tweed I was I was very impressed with this one so if you're looking for like if you have green Irish tweed but you don't want to wear down that bottle of Creed check out their take of the sharp dressed man in the EDT, I was very, very impressed. I have a bottle of, of Green Irish Tweed. I was, <laughs> I give, I give it top marks for, a, I believe it's a 50 mil bottle for 24.95. Yeah, I think you're, um, you get a pretty good deal, folks. All right, so let's get into the shave now. Now the shower, single days growth. I just wanted to use a different shaving, get something into the single edge group. Let's use our cube to prep. Thanks for the inputs on the and the comments on my Marvel uh, shaves. I may be selling it. You know, for, for other stuff I have in my den and where it sits. But, you know, I try to give you just my my take on it and hopefully it, it helps if, you know, I mean, people are loving it. I think, like I said, my I think my, it comes down to, it's just too redundant of a type of shave I have in my uh, razor collection. So if I didn't have you know, a few other razors, or if I wanted to sell those other razors and keep the marble, then it'd be something like that, so. In terms of, let's say, our, you know, nothing, nothing carve and higher, you know, but the, your razor's in the 30 to $60 range. I, that's where I've hit a lot of redundancy. This croissant base is really nice. Okay, let's take the excess off the puck. All right, we'll rinse. The salt base does like a decent amount of water, but man, does it reward you with a great lather. Like many, it's, it is one of my favorite soap bases. I just don't keep, pull out a lot because I only have, I mean, besides this and the reserve, I have three reserve soaps. I have this soap, I have a lather line lavender, and I have Cheshire, and I have 42 in the older formula, not the Glissant base. And the, one from the 2016 release, I believe it was. Oh, well, not a lot of Barristered Man. And the only reason is I don't care where the scent they put out. I mean, it's just too muddled and complex to my nose. So maybe I'm, I'm more simplistic in what I prefer. Soap base, uh, scent wise, I mean, nothing wrong with the soap. Soap is beautiful. I just said what I smelled. Now, when I got to use um, Good Brother John's uh, Fougere Gothique, now that was a nice Fougere. That was an unexpected uh, pleasure of a uh, soap. I liked Hallows when I smelled it a couple years back, but I just never. Didn't pull the trigger on it in the pre-order, and I just really didn't see the need, although it's a nice scent, but a lot of the others, they're just not for me, scent-wise. 
Great soap. <laughs> I think Fougere Gothique in and of itself is a wonderful scent. All right, let's go with this. I like this lather. All right, let's get this whole blade warmed up here. This is a really light razor, aluminum, just... <laughs> nice three-piece, got nice posts to mount the uh, blade and put the, uh, put the base plate on and the handle. Really nice shave so far. And this razor is super light. You, you want to keep weight out of your luggage? Get one of these. Oh my god. Besides like a using like a guard or a or something, you know, like maybe like a look at this or classic or Man, this thing is light. Doing a really nice job too, to be honest with this uh, Kai, uh, Kai Captain Sharp Blade. Yeah, actually, I'm pretty. It's a pretty nice shave when this first pass, which you know, for my DEs, I usually don't get as close. But I'm surprised. This is doing a very good job. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have a really nice second pass here. I can already tell. Let's get the face lather for past two. I'm very, I'm very pleased with this, uh, this first pass. Wow, I mean.
This may be another two pass shave the way this first pass went. Oh, just to go back to the Sterling discussion before the shave, when I meant a little woodier note in the um, fine platinum compared to the Sterling Executive Man, I mean only in the sense that you also get that note more out of it, but I, I think this fine does a overall better job of nailing the core Creed Aventus scent without being one way or the other, although I, I, I mean I really like it. I, I find it a little more pineapple than the woody, but there's you get all the right notes out of it. The Executive Man does a very good job. It's going to last longer. So it's a trade-off of which one's going to hang and still be really good, or which one's going to be really good and not hang as much. So, I mean, to me, fine, it's probably still a little bit better on the scent, but your hang time's going to be a little better on the Sterling. Um, I think they're right. They're very close in scent, but just to my nose, I think I just like the fine. I think I like smidge better, but the performance going to be much better on the Sterling. Honestly, the only one of the mainline ones I don't have is Emperor from, uh, I had Emperor, I think I sent it to Kyle. Kyle, <laughs> Brown Man Shaves, if you, didn't I, I know I sent you American Barbershop. Yeah, I sent you Emperor. I just thought their aftershave and soap scent was way too light. And then of course, I didn't prefer it to others I had, but now, in the scheme of things, it would have been part of my Aventus line, but honestly, it still just wasn't doing it for me. Yeah, I got some skin issue there. It's not really a weeper. Yeah, both places. I'm um, getting a little like, almost like binary uh, blemishes. Very weird. Razor itself is doing a fantastic job. <laughs> a way better shave for partly for operator improvement and partly for the razor design than the version one hawk from you know that sense of last I used it yeah really liking this razor in all honesty got a hair there I need to take care of it's really good shave 
I'm gonna clean up the neck a little. And I'm gonna pause for a second. I got a little uh, hair that's not cooperating, so two seconds. All right, thanks for that. Uh, I did notice I'm getting not quite creeper, somewhere between a weeper and a creeper hitting up, but those will close with alum. But I definitely need to take tomorrow off from shaving, I can tell after this shave. I mean, it's comfortable, but I think I pushed my skin too far. Oh yeah, much better. All right, let's rinse off and uh, get to our post shave. So bear with me, kids. Well, today's shirts, grunt style, support your, uh, your firefighters, first responders. <clears throat> Some of you on Facebook know, um, Our good brother out there, John Perry's nephew, is um, not doing well in a battle with uh, cancer. And it looks like, I saw last night, it looks like it's taken a, a turn for the for the worse. And it's, it's sorry to hear, but John, I believe John has a GoFundMe. I don't know if he is still active or they're, they're keeping it going for whatever they need for him. But treatment has not been working well. So... So uh, shout out to good brother John Perry there. He's an admin and razor and brush, but many of you know him around the community. Old Cahaba, uh, a few other groups. He's, he's a really great guy. We haven't hung out in a little while, but he he just lives on the north side of town, up 35, not too far. So I need to get we need to get together soon. He's also back on shift duty, so his schedule is not as steady as it used to be. All right, so let's get cool water rinse, do our alum block. All right. Yeah, it's talking today. Sure sign, you need to give the skin a rest. The razor and blade combo was really good, it was really efficient. It didn't feel rough to my skin, I didn't notice anything, it's just, I, it's my skin telling me, tomorrow, take a break. <laughs> Maybe two days. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I got some redness, like, spots. That's uh, not a good sign. I'm trying to close this with the album block. I may need to go a little stronger. Maybe it's out. I'm put a little extra alum here. Let's see if it'll help with some inflammation. All right, try that. Let that dry or dry outside the case. All right, I'm gonna rinse this off. All right. Woo! Going a little bit longer today, but that's all right. I talked about the aftershaves, so I gave that a few minutes. I meant the aftershaves, the EDTs from uh, Sterling. And I won't need much else to post shave today. I'm just going to use the aftershave. That was just some lemon thayers I put on, so I'll get another citrus layer.
Nice burn today too, so that means, yeah, I, skin's a little alive today. That will calm down nicely, and we will be good to go. Yeah, then I'll give the skin a break for a day or two, and we'll be all set. All right, so, Single Edge September. The Razor Rock V2 Hawk Electric Blue with a Kai Captain Sharp Blade and really efficient blade. Nice combo. If my skin wasn't, you know, telling me it was time to stop. I mean, this one is like fresh after a couple days growth or so. This really would have been beautiful too. Great shaver. I really like the result. Uh, just rushing and my skin is telling me take a break. Razor Rock uh, BC Silver Tip Synthetic 24mm. I don't remember the price on that, but I think it's a nice price for a good brush. Beautiful brush for a nice synthetic. Bear Stern Man Seville and the Glissant Base and their aftershave. I love the graphic work on this packaging. And the Reserve is uh, black with coppery orange metallic with the bowl. It's really nice. It was made for uh, the Reddit, Reddit Wet Shaving Group. And uh, there's Lemon, Phoenix Shaving Allen Block with rubber band. And that is, oh yeah, and the Cube from Phoenix Shaving, Mentholated Bamboo Charcoal Pre-Shave. All right, with that, we're done. Have a great day, have a great shave. There's the stolen line for you. Stay safe, try safe, don't drink and drive, stolen too. Watch out for school zones and school buses. That's me, cheers, stolen, and general pop. <laughs> um, and I will see you in a couple days for the next shave. Uh, shout out to uh, the surf group, Single Edge Razor fans on Facebook for Surf September, Single Edge September. And uh, have a great day, my friends. Champ loves you. Bye.